guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for joining. You're an oldie moldy, welcome back. I know that I said I might not be coming back to YouTube. I wasn't really sure if I was or if I wasn't, but I always had this idea in my head that I wanted to do something very kind of different, kind of new, something innovative. So first off, I'm going to give you an update on what this channel is going to be about and how it's changing. I always thought it would be really, really fun. My name's Michelle. Um, Think Pink Days is just basically Think Pink Days of my life. So I always thought it would be really, really fun if I every year would delete all of my videos and start fresh. Start fresh every year with the things that I'm currently into, with the things that I'm currently enjoying. And primarily this channel, I always like to say it's kind of like a lifestyle channel. I showcase whatever I like or am into hobby-wise. But I thought it would be really cool. It would be like, let's let's delete everything, make everything private, and start fresh every year. Isn't that kind of cool and innovative? Like, why keep up old content? Why keep up old hauls that nobody's going to find interesting because they're old hauls and you can't find that stuff in the stores anymore? And if I'm showing stills and deals, well, I don't want to keep outdated videos up that don't have anything to do with current times. So I thought, wouldn't it be really fun to just make all of my videos private and start fresh every year or every few months or whenever I feel like it? You can always start fresh and you don't have to keep up your videos. You don't have to keep up your old videos. Why for? There's nothing to hide. There's no shade. There's no drama. I literally have some free time. I'm at my parents' house today and I have time to film. So I'm like, why not? Nothing is ever set in stone. You can change your mind whenever you want and you can do things differently. So I thought that I would tell you kind of an update on what my latest and greatest things are that I'm doing for this channel. Mostly what this channel is going to be is my hobbies and hauls. I used to journal in the past, so there are some people that may have seen me journal in the past. I'm not going to be journaling anymore because I just don't have the time. It's such a tedious, long process to set everything up. And maybe it's not like that for everyone else, but it's like that for me. So speaking from my own personal, you know, just my own personal life and how things work for me, I don't have time to journal. My sister said it best. It's too hard to set up. And by the time you set it up, somebody's knocking at your door because they need you. Exactly. So Coloring to me is so easy. I literally, and I'm going to do a haul after this, I can literally just pick up something and color. There's no setup. There's no must. There's no fuss. I'm using everything. I still have 50% 50, 50, 50 of my crafting supplies because I do love doing collages. Now, a lot of people call them junk journals. I don't journal anymore because I simply don't have the time to do it. And it, that's a part of my life that's just gone and done. And we're always changing and evolving as human beings so we can change and evolve with our hobbies. So one of the things that I got into was coloring. It is so easy, it is so fun, and I love it. I love journaling. At the time when I journaled, I loved it. It was enjoyable. I had all the time to really set up everything and create beautiful layouts, and I loved it. It's just not me anymore. And so I got into coloring just by off chance. I wanted to find something that was easy and fun to do, and I love coloring. I don't see myself giving up coloring in the foreseeable future because it's so easy. You just literally pick up a pack of markers and you're good to go. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need a fancy setup. You don't need anything, really. You just It's like a get-up-and-go hobby. I love it. And then the other thing that I'm getting into, and one of the reasons why I never really wanted to share some of the stuff that I'm into that I like I do share a lot of toys and things that I, I, I love kawaii stuff. I'm pretty much, my life is basically like lots of pastels and kawaii stuff. And I never realized that until somebody said, wow, you have a lot of, you have very kawaii-esque taste. Now, I'm not a genre channel. I never wanted to be a genre channel. I like what I like and I'm very particular in what I like. So it's kind of funny when people are like, you should really start showing the things that you're really into on YouTube because people would find it interesting. And I thought, well, the reason why I don't is not because of judgment. I love toys. 
I like toys. My whole family knows I like toys. They all know I love pink. They indulge me. My dad just put together my American Girl closet. It's really cute. I'll show that to you. The only reason why I didn't do that was because of the COPA laws. Because YouTube is kind of strict on what they allow now. So because of the COPA laws, I was like, I'm not going to show my Build-A-Bears. I'm not going to show my collections of clothes and stuff like that. But you know what? I have an American Girl doll coming in the mail, and I'm going to do an unboxing on my channel. So I'm going to take my channel towards more of what I'm really into. And I always have shown you what I like and what I enjoy, but I've never taken it to the extent of showing you the Build-A-Bears that I collect, the American Dolls that I'm getting into, um, and a lot of the toys that I really am into. I do collect some toys. I mostly collect a lot of little Disney figurines, um, anything that sparks my fancy, My Little Ponies, Hello Kitty, uh, Disney Princesses, Rainbow Bright, stuff like that. But I've never really shown it on my channel because I don't want to be um, subjected to cope a lot. But I think I can get around that. I think I can do it in a way that's going to be like an adult toy collector. I watch a lot of adult toy collectors and my hobbies and tastes are changing and I'm evolving and doing different things. So you might see some gaming stuff. You might see like, oh, what's on my Nintendo Switch? You might, you're never going to see me game because I don't, I don't, you know, do the whole gaming live action stuff. No, I don't do that. But you're going to see more stuff that I like and not just hauls, but actual, you know, collection videos, co collections of things that I, I find fun. And I decided that, you know what, I'm just going to show everything. And I'm going to start fresh and you know I don't want any journaling videos on my channel because that's not something that I'm into anymore and, and I made a lot of my videos I made all of my videos private so that I could start fresh and really start showing you the things that I'm into and what I'm into is collecting Build-A-Bear clothes um, American Girl stuff and the reason why I really as a kid I always wanted to build a bear always I don't know why I just did I was never into Barbies I always wanted a real a real Build-A-Bear and a real American Girl doll. So I got those two things off my bucket list. So got a Build-A-Bear doll, got a Build-A-Bear. I got my American Girl doll. She's coming in the mail today. And I like putting them on my bed. I like dressing them up and putting them on my bed. Do I play with them? No, I use them as decorations. I think they are so pretty and so fun just to have on your bed, dress them up in seasonal clothing. And you always know what season it is by what my bear is wearing. So I love that. I got a Build-A-Bear closet for Christmas. It's at my sister's house. My nose is running. Hold on. So I got a Build-A-Bear closet and then I got this closet. It's so cute. I can't wait to show you. But so that's how my channel is going to be changing. It's going to be a little bit more, maybe not more toy oriented. It's still going to be a lot of hauls because you know I love to shop, but it's going to be more of the things that I'm into and I'm going to start showing you what I've really have gotten into since we've been dealing with the Rona for eight months. And yeah, I, I don't care about people judging me. I like toys. I don't care if people judge me on my toys and all of that stuff. And I do want to start junk journaling. Um, I love junk journaling. So I kept some of my crafting supplies. I'm not the craftiest person. I get bored and tired of crafting very, I love to craft. Making collages and journals is fun, but I get bored of it easily and I like to switch it up so I'm into coloring someday I might start junk journaling again who knows the sky's the limit we could always do anything we want whenever we want because let's face it it's our world we're the adults we make up our minds on what we want to do and how we want to live our lives and what we decide to be into at any given moment and don't let people make you feel bad for stopping hobbies that don't bring you joy anymore Journaling doesn't bring me joy anymore, and it's probably because I just don't have the time to set it all up and to devote hours to it. Whereas coloring, I could just literally pick up a book, I'm good to go, put it away back on the shelf, put away my markers, and there's no scissors to put away and glue to put away and magazine clippings to clean up and all of the endless things. If you're a crafter, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So with that being said, I love you guys so, so much. You're going to see kind of like a, a little bit of a rebranding. Oh, that sounds so fancy. So yeah, you're going to see kind of a rebranding of my channel, showing you more of my hobbies that I'm into, showing you more of the things that I'm really enjoying at this given time. And um, yeah, just having fun. This channel is for fun. It's for nothing else, but it's just 
for fun and to share the things that I love and hopefully you might find that interesting and we could all have fun together. So I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Jump on the friendship bandwagon. I hope you will. And I will see you guys in the next one. And I know I'm always like a bouncing ball. I'm coming. I'm going. I'm, you know, my life is so busy that that's pretty much a good indicator of how my life is. I'm coming. I'm going. I'm up. I'm down. I'm all around. So anyway, find me on Instagram, Think Pink Days, and I'll see you in the next one.